day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Is that true? Chris, I mean, is that true? Talking to yeah. you benefits me none whatsoever. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. Because anything I say that's benefiting my behalf is not acceptable in court. And that's why you hear people say lawyer. Yeah, yeah. Every what time they point? say something, they just say lawyer. Right. And that's my thing when they're saying, they say, you know, when you say, officer, am I being detained? I'm free to go. The, to me, it's saying is, I don't have to talk to you. I already understand my rights. And you don't, there's no questions that you can ask me that gonna benefit me in the first place. So am I being detained or well, I'm free to go? And if I am detained, the only thing I need to give you is my name and my ID. And that's some states you don't have to do that, but I'm talking about there's many, you, you give them your name, you, you give them your ID card. Well, you know what, Pastor? I, I, I agree with you 100%. And just like Chris was saying earlier, they're gonna automatically say things like, stop resisting. Uh, yeah. uh, put your hands up. Whether you're resisting or whatever has nothing to do with it, those things have to be said exactly so that they're being recorded, being said, so then they can at least say, well, why did I say that? It's an arguable point, basically, is what it boils down to. Yeah, so is that legal word, Jimmy, they is can, that legal word, though, if, if you say, if you keep trying to get something on tape, the point is, instead of saying why or leave me alone, the point I'm saying, the officer and you know, I'm being detained or free to go. Well, I was, I was going to get to that because okay. basically the problem is, is that, is that obviously they, they have the right to legally lie to you. Yes, and, that's and, true and, too. And that's, and that's the problem. You have, you have to understand that they can legally lie to you and make up things along the way to get you to divulge information. But the biggest thing is, is that we are ignorant of the law. When we get law. pulled over, we don't know our rights. We don't know that we can say, uh, uh, I do not consent, or I, or, I, uh, or I exercise my Fifth Amendment, yes, or sir. am I being am I being detained, Come or on. am I free to go? Come we on. we don't know this. We don't know to say these things. Yes. We don't know that they they can they, they can't just pull up on, by the sidewalk and ask you, show me your ID, or the passengers in the car, show me your ID, or get out of the car. Yeah, I mean. I mean, you did it, but they don't have a legal ground to be able to, to support them if that is taken the court. So first you got the one, we have to be, if anything, we're really trying to help folks. Yeah. We gotta be educating them about yes. their rights. When they, you don't have to say, I know my rights. You just exercise the key words and the key points and do those things. They'll know that you know your rights and exactly. that automatically puts them in subjection. But you have to record everything Yes. And you have to know some basic rights. You yes. have to, otherwise, your ignorance of the law, just like everything in life, your ignorance of the scriptures, your ignorance of the law, Ooh. your ignorance of, of, of rules and regulations, you're, you're ignorant of grants, you're ignorant of type of thing that you can refinance and finance. Your ignorance is used against you as a race of people because we don't teach people the things that they need to be taught. We spend so much time teaching things that, that that's not going to help them in this yeah. life to survive and get over. We need to go back to things that make sense. One, knowing your rights yes. as a black man in America. You got to know when you get pulled over, what are your rights? And what are the and what are the ways you need to be? And what does those rights mean? Because yes. that's going to get you out of a lot of trouble. And that's going to keep them in check. But uh, uh, other than that, we're, not, we're doing them a disservice because I they can it. legally lie. They can legally lie. They know what to say. They know that they don't have a right to be able to do these things. But if they say it in such a way and you say, okay, then you you gave consent. You don't even realize what you're doing and what you're giving up. Exactly. And if you give ID, if you give ID, then they're going to have a legal document. Then they got something legally on paper about the incidents on the street. So that's why I don't, I, don't, I don't give my ID unless you can legibly tell me your probable cause. Suspicion of a crime? Was, did I commit a crime? Or what is my suspicion of a crime? And they got to be the legibly state that to me. I saw yeah. a guy pulled over watching one of these videos. The guy pulled over, so you know it's suspicious, right? So I, I pulled you over because it was suspicious. And I need and I want to search your car. The guy didn't give me consent to search his car. It's one of these videos that teach you how to deal with the law. But this guy actually was actually recording. The guy called and pulled him over and said, Look, 
I pulled you over for suspicion. He said, what was suspicious? Well, you, this is a 70 mile per hour and you're driving 65. Wouldn't you agree that's suspicious? The speed limit is 70, you driving 65? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh yeah, my fact is, what did what did the, the uh, in that tape too, Chris? They if they sit there and say, do you know how fast you were going? They said sometimes people will go and say, well, you know, like if it's thirty five miles out of zone. Well, yeah, well I'll go out thirty eight. They don't understand that. Well, you just confessed that you were speeding. Yeah. And, and regardless of what you say now, you have already validated the pull-over, opposed to saying, uh, can I help you, the officer? Do you know why I pulled you over? No, I don't. Can you tell me why you pulled me over? Well, you were going too fast. Oh, how fast was I going, officer? You know what I mean? In other words, but don't give him information that he's going to use against you. Yeah, because I know I'll be like, you know, I, I, they asked me how fast was I going. I don't know, but it's recorded in my car. <laughs> <laughs> but I, like I haven't recorded. You know, I can, I can, if if I need to, if I go to court, I can, I can tell them exactly how much is this like the that. date, date, time, <laughs> and speed that limit one. is recorded in yeah. my car. What? But this is this house, is something that, that came to mind. It's not the, I mean, it's it's to the fact where we have to have recordings of our homes and yes. our cars. Yes. We want, so we need body cams. Yes. To protect yourself. We actually yourself. need to have body cams on to exist now, right. because the 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 law has become so corrupt. And even vi video footage of the corruption isn't good enough. Yeah, but one of the things, I, let's go back to what you said, what Jim was talking about, the fact is that the law is corrupt, but at the same time, they're recording, they're, they're trying to say those buzzwords. Yeah. What we need to do is learn to say the buzzwords that stands on your behalf. Officer, am I being detained or free to go? Officer. I do not consent to a search. Officer, I am, I'm going by the right to remain silent. So do you have, do you, am I being detained? I'm free to go. Because I'm finished. We, our conversation is finished. I, I, I have the right to remain silent. You're still asking me questions. And I'm asking you, I'm being detained or I'm free to go. I, but I, you got to keep saying, Miss says that if you don't get those buzzwords on the tape, they're gonna they're gonna use you, like you say, resistance or anything else. So, Chris, I mean, what do you think? Is it, is it like Jim was talking about? Is we have to make sure our buzzwords and the people need to listen know the two buzzwords that you have to say, because but even it's not to say I know my rights is to exercise your rights. But oh, yeah. even knowing and exercising still doesn't uh, stop some of these officers. Well, let me, let, but let's think about the fact that, like I said, because I actually take. saw a video, I mentioned it before, you of did. a guy being uh, detained. Yes, and sir. he was like, why are you, why are you detaining me? Am I being arrested? Why are you detaining me? What are you holding me for? And, he, and the officer wouldn't say nothing other than, you know, quit resisting. He's like, yeah. I'm not resisting. Why are you detaining me? And if you're not telling me, you have to tell me. And if you're yeah. not telling me, then I'm leaving. And so he tried to leave and the officer grabbed him and slammed him up against the wall and held him in. And he now, kept calling for backup. And the guy yeah. was like, why are you detaining me? You're hurting me. Now, now, you know, now, I did nothing wrong. And so it. then when the rest of the cops came. Yes, sir. That's all. Yeah. They humbled that dude. Right. Let's let's go back to the buzzwords again now. Now, I don't know if, the, if Jim, I don't think the why is 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 part of the, the buzzword. Chris is the buzzword just say officer I'm being detained, I'm free to go. If I'm being detained, I'm exercise my right to be silent. I, I'm I'll sit here and look at you as you looking at me. But I just need to know. I'm being detained, I'm free to go. Yeah. 
But that's, the other that's problem the is, word. even if you use these buzzwords and it's being recorded and they pummel you and you go to court, if you live, the judge will throw it out. Yes, sir. Yes. It will. It will. And see, that's the that's the problem. And like there's, you no said, report. there's no yeah. report. There's no with report. With us knowing... Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. With, with us knowing the buzzwords, doing all this, I sit there and it's well and good, but if this cop, and I hate to say it, most of them do, they have evil intentions or they have malicious intentions because they got to make their quota. He had a bad day. Look at this black guy trying to get smart with me. You know, if I go through all this here, if he still wants to jack me, he's going to jack me. Well, let, let me and ask then, you a question, Chris. You said getting smart. I posted, it. I'm saying the right to remain silent. The buzzword is, if I'm being detained, I'm free to go. I'm exercising my right. I understand that. If I start talking like that, but okay, now you're being a smart ass. Oh, now, you I'm yeah. you know all, no, no, I'm just telling you no. what his perception is going to be. Yes. But, and that's, but, and that's what happens. But I noticed they, uh, that, that tape I sent y'all, though, is that when they know that you know your rights, that tactic, Chris, though, at the same time, is very difficult for them because you're remaining silent and you're exercising your rights. They but check this out. need an excuse. Go ahead, Chris, Jimmy. I think, I, think, I think the only thing is being said that it's not 100% foolproof. You can, yes. you can, you can, you can bow your head like a puppet, and you can inform you know, everything they say, and allow them to search and do everything they're supposed to do, and be submissive, be be slave mentality, and they'll still kick your butt if they feel like it. So yes, nothing sir. is a hundred percent. I agree it's, with that. And I and I go back to that. Then I go back to that judge, Pastor. I kind of understood what he was saying, but then too, it kind of it kind of left me with a bad taste in my mouth too, because a lot of what he's saying was absolutely true. And you go, you call them buzzwords. I call it knowing the law, just knowing the law and exercising your rights. Right. And there are certain things need to be said. And I understand what you're saying, buzzwords. There's certain things you need to know what to say. And because then, because I tell them after that, I don't answer questions. Exactly. I already told you, I, I, I don't answer questions. I'm finished. But to them, some, but sometimes to them, that's gonna be disrespectful. Now I'm not, now I'm not conforming, and they want to take it to the next level. That's their, that's just the perception stuff is gonna be. But once I done told you. That I exercise my rights. I'm not gonna say anything. And you can ask me about the weather. I don't answer questions. Where are you coming from? I don't answer questions. Where were you headed? I don't answer questions. None of that is none of your business. You know, basically, if you're gonna give me a ticket, give me a ticket. Let me go about my business. Exactly. But we have we have to know the buzzwords, and we have to doggone exercise our rights. We got to know our rights. Know your rights. Period. Exactly. You gotta know your rights. But see, but see, yeah. he 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 was almost teaching, and I understand what he's saying. If you get pulled over, your number one objective is to walk over, get, is this to live through the incident. I understand right. that, but but over time, everybody just conforming, everybody just saying okay, everybody just giving in. That's not going to help the situation none whatsoever. The oppressor is never going to get in his heart and say, you know what? I'm tired of slaves making me all this money. I'm tired of yeah, treating them like crap. All of a sudden, Preach. now let's. I got a soft heart. Let me go ahead and just take some of their burden off of them. That's not gonna happen. The only way it's gonna happen is gonna be a revolution. And so we Bingo. have to rebel. That means uh -huh. there's gonna have to be some sacrificial lambs. That means that some people deserves. gonna lose their life. That means some people gonna get beat up. But as a, as, a, as a people, we have to know our rights and start exercising them. And then even then, some of us still gonna get water hose and dogs stuck on, put on the oh, stuff yeah. like that. It's, just, it's, it's gonna, gonna happen along the way. That's part it's of the process. Happen. But, but the, question, the, the question, he said, he said revolution, that replies some type of, uh, that's how you fight a revolution. You can fight it through using the, the tools that is in your possession, or you can go into the, a, a cardinal level, which is- I agree with you. I agree you with you. If, in other words, I can't fight, I can't put Chris, I can't even put Chris in the ring with Mike Tyson and, and, no. and sometimes, knowing that- Sometimes. Yes, you can. Yes, some, you can. Sometimes. <laughs> you're going to get paid. Some, <laughs> you just survive. <laughs> <laughs> but look. Sometimes you're standing up for your rights and saying no and saying no can be perceived as you've already got into the carnal and that's where you're protesting. What, protest what? nonetheless, I, I don't believe in, in, in the violence or whatever, but protest nonetheless has to take place. And whatever forms that we can use it, there has to be a stance against what's going on that's not lawfully, that's not legal, that's not right. You can call it a protest, you can call it whatever you want to call it, but there has to be a stance against it. It can't be just I'm just gonna go along with it and sooner or later they're gonna feel sorry for me and they're gonna do right uh, by me. That's that's not gonna that's, that's not gonna not, get changed. 
that's not having your conversations honest either. Yeah. That is it's not, right. that is, the, the Bible says in 2 Peter 12, having your conversations honest amongst the Gentiles. And, so, and matter of fact, hey, look, hey, y'all, look, matter of fact, Prince, you ain't gonna like this one. <laughs> but let's read this to go along with what, what you were just, we were just saying. Uh, go ahead, go ahead and read that for us. <laughs> I hope you ain't talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why Pastor, read that. Pastor, <laughs> I don't know why Pastor trying to mess with us like this. <laughs> you got, can, can you see it, Chris? You are reading for us? <laughs> nope. I can see it, but I ain't reading it. I'm not reading it. <laughs> hey, 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 I'll read it for you. <laughs> Go ahead. Submission to authority. In other words, doing the law at the same time. Submit yourself. This is 1 Peter 2.13. For those who uh, can't see these scriptures. <laughs> but let's go and say it says, Submit yourself to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king or supreme, or unto governors, as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God that with well doing you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. The point I'm trying to throw, and I like that piece there, you put to silence the ignorance of foolish man. If you're gonna be a martyr, be a martyr by doing well. He said, as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God. It says here, honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, it's an honor the king. Ain't no wrong honor the king. Servants, be subject to your masters. And I know that word master is not appropriate for this day and time because there are no masters uh, and slaves here in this modern time. With all fear, not only be not only to the good and gentle, but to the forward as well. For this is thankworthy. Worthy. If a man for conscience toward God endure grief, suffering wrongfully. Now, the whole purpose of that I was looking at from that scripture was the fact is, if, if, if you sit there and violate the law after I exercise my rights, if, if, if I have to be the martyr for that day, I'm still winning in the long run for the rest of the people. Because I think even the civil rights movement and any other protests where we do it legal, it does make changes in the long run. But there will be some people that's going to die for it, but at least you're dying. I really, you know what? I think is it better to die as a martyr than to die as an evildoer? Oh, of course. Of course. It has more impact. But I mean, the, the, the optimum thing about this is submit yourself to every ordinance. Yes, sir. Of man. Uh-huh. For the Lord's sake. So there's ordinance that I do not have to give you information. That's the ordinance, right? You have the ordinance right is to remain silent. That I am innocent until proven guilty and i and also the constitution said that you one of the things the constitution is that you do not you shall not be and should not be forced to to uh what do you call it uh self confess against yourself yes self-incrimination that, that's the law yeah and i'm sitting there saying is that if a cop sits there and beat the hell out of you because you fail you don't want to make a confessions that is incriminating, captured on tape, 
they're the one that's going to get in trouble. Now, if they don't get it today, you become the martyr. It's still going to have an impact in the long run. Well, you know. Hey, Pastor. Hey, when, Pastor. That's why. That's why I say there got to be some sacrifice. And I'm going to tell you some a little poem. They say, "Here lies old Jimmy Ray, who died defending his right away. He was right, dead right, as he sped along, but he's just as dead as if he was wrong." Yeah. <laughs> He does his dead, but the question is, did he did his his sacrifice go in vain or not? Because that's well, the thing. That's up to society, you know, to those who who know him, who lives and survives, to go, it, right? Could, could go, especially if he's a Christian, right? See, we we don't stand up for for one another no more. Yeah, you and know, think, we 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 allow atrocities against one another if you're in the body i don't know any family that that's that's not affected when somebody is prosecuted hurt killed you know or anything like that you, you go to their defense you go to their aid you yeah. know you you make it known right. that 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 these things are happening but yeah. i will say this even when jesus come on now when, when, when they hit jesus come on he responded and he said, are you hitting me because of the truth? I mean, yeah. I forgot, I can't remember yeah. word for word. He said, well, but he said something wrong, what? Yeah. Well, if but if I did something, if I didn't do something wrong, why do you smite me? Right. Why do you why are you strike me? And right. so he still addressed it. Yeah. He spoke, he spoke the truth. And, and the thing about you it. You know, he was being honest with him. But you but you did you pick up the, the, the tone of his response? Was that I'm not showing you aggressive behavior. I'm sitting there just telling you, I'm talking to you as a person, as a man. You can act like a fool, but I'm not going to act like a fool. Matter of fact, look at this. The, the scripture here, the next one, set a slide that goes with it. Kristen, you didn't want to read? Look at this. This is. I'm not, this reading. Is, no, this, I'm not reading today. Oh, you're not reading today. Okay. <laughs> not today. No. Okay. Look at this. I'm not, I'm not submitting today. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Brother Adams, you want to read that one for us? It's line of what you were saying. Okay, First Peter two twenty. Yeah. For what glory is it if, when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But if, when you do well, and suffer for it, ye take it patiently. This is acceptable with God. For even unto where ye call because Christ also suffers for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Well. Who did no sin, uh -huh. neither was guile found in his mouth. Come on now. Who when he was reviled, uh -huh. reviled not again. Uh huh. When he suffered, he threatened not. That's the point we're But he committed to himself to him that judges righteousness. Uh -huh. righteous. Who his own self bear our sins and his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live into unto righteousness, but whose stripes ye were healed. For ye were a sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of our souls. So I'm saying that this was kind of repeating what, what you're saying to a degree, how Jesus responded. Right? Yeah. It, so, so it's it's, it's still, and, and matter of fact, you think about it, Ben. He is the example. His actions has 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 survived the people that did wrong in crucifying him. Two thousand some years later, you mean you know what I mean it was the higher power, it was the authority. They did abuse him, right? They did revile against him, but he did not revile back toward them. And I, I'm question is that the movement, even with George Floyd, Mr. George Floyd, because of the position he was in, it has affected the whole world in responding to injustice. Just because he was in there submissive you know, he was restrained. He he couldn't do nothing. And the system that did it 
it has become the evildoer, not George. And remember, they try to show, they try to find somewhere to take where he was the evildoer. Yeah, they, they start talking about his character, who he was, and everything. It had nothing to do with, with that, that man murdering him. Exactly. That eight but minutes. The worst part about it was these cops quitting, not showing up. Yes. not responding yes. because it was wrong for that man to kill that man yes but that they held him accountable yes that was what they were upset they about. were against right they were mad that they were held accountable and they always talking about i just want to get home safe yes that my life is 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 in danger every time I go out, but they chose. They chose. Yeah, profession. That job. Yes, sir. They chose to get paid to do that job. Come on now. They're getting paid by the people that they are abusing. That's what makes it so so bad. But you know, but and to say, and I like the word you just said, make it so bad. It has not resonated in the community at large. You mean, you know what I'm saying? It did not resonate, does not resonate. Their protests, their retiring early and all that stuff has not made the bigger society say, oh, we did wrong. We shouldn't treat them that way. They're just doing their job. It's, it's still saying, no, you are still committing atrocity. Yes, we want to defund you. And I'm not advocating the front of you, it's, but I'm saying is that it's telling them that maybe we can do something better instead of funding you if you don't know how to do it the way we paid you to do it for, right? Yeah, but but it's still being made political. Uh, exactly. There's, not, there's it's, nothing political about this. Yeah. You're you're killing innocent people and getting away with it. And you know that word. And when they're said. they're when and when society pulls them on the carpet, then you have lawmakers trying to justify it. Did you did or you yeah. trying to to uh, to put it out in such a way to where the people who are protesting are wrong yeah did We're you protesting get, it yeah and they did you catch that one word? I, want, I, I want to interrupt you for a second did you catch that one word you said innocent people they try to relabel is what what you was basically saying yeah. they're trying to relabel that the the protesters the people that they've been arresting are all evildoers because I have to put them in that package to justify my actions. And Christ, as I'm saying, they try to do the evil of Jesus Christ. But when you when when you see a spade as a spade, you realize, wait a minute, that that's you became evil because you we saying what you did. You if I catch you doing evil, then you become the evil doer. And I'm not going to hold you up and you're going to be held accountable in the long run because you're trying to paint shooting somebody 14 times. Where's that Where's that showing your justification? Yeah, I'm just saying this. It may not, it takes a while for things to catch up, but Germany, right? We, we, that, remember those trials of, of those German World War II soldiers? They were, at the time, justified by their own laws. But in the end, they were held and tried for atrocities. I'm sitting there saying is, is I think what God was showing in that scripture I just read you, for what glory is it if when you be buffered for your faults? What the system tries to do is try to point your faults in order to justify their actions. But if you pull away from it, if you do not show fault, showing the law, saying, hey, 
Am I being detained or free to go? I have the right to remain silent. All I can keep telling you is, am I being detained or am I free to go? I don't need to ask you why, I don't need to talk no more because everything I said gonna be held against me anyway, right? So would, would, would I not be better just to say, am I being detained or free to go? I have the right to remain silent. So I have just invoked my right to remain silent. How long you wanna hold me here is up to you, but am I being detained or free to go? Cause I have nothing else to say to you. That's the law. But what we want to do is try have a trial on the streets. The trial on the street, I'm talking about you confronting an officer or something like that. It's not gonna, that's not where the battle's supposed to be. That's